At the annual Labor Day Festival in Black Diamond, there's no shortage of hamburgers, hot rods, and signs of campaign season. I'm starting to see it everywhere now. I'm thinking that it'll soon be time to vote. Ryan. Voters in Washington's 8th District will decide one of the most competitive, closely watched races in the country, one that could end up deciding which party controls the U.S. House of Representatives. This is like split down the middle, so it's really interesting. That's why Labor Day means laboring on the campaign trail for the candidates. Republican Dino Rossi paraded in Black Diamond, while Democrat Kim Schreier hit the MLK Labor Block Party and picnic in Burien. This year I'm watching closely what's going on all around, and I see a movement back, a correction to the left. We're starting to see that. The midterms, we should take back the House. The Democrats should take back the House. Dale Bright, political director of Labor's Local 242, says his union has endorsed Democratic congressional candidates, members energized around labor issues. As a union member, I just want to keep the union around. And while unions remain an influential voting bloc in King County, this district is home to voters of all stripes. Tom O'Brien, a party line Republican, is worried about losing the House. I am worried for this country if they do, because I think the House would probably backlash as much as they could. Have, because Talk about I, what issues are important to you? The border, economics, America. I need to do more reading, see where people stand. I always wait till the last minute. Sherry Porter considers herself an independent, still undecided and not alone. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. But now's the time when candidates kick it into high gear and voters start paying close attention, especially those in the 8th district who say they know what's at stake. We the people are the ones that decide all these, you know, the fate of the Congress and whatnot. Natalie Brand, King 5 News.